Before we jump into today's video, I'd like to give a special thanks to our sponsor, Nichiren Buddhism Store. Whether you're a seasoned practitioner or exploring Nichiren Buddhism for the first time, this is the perfect place to find all your faith essentials. From digital resources to physical products like apparel, accessories, and home decor, Nichiren Buddhism Store has it all, with new items added frequently. And the best part? They ship their premium products worldwide, so wherever you are, you can stay connected to your faith. Check them out at NichirenBuddhismStore.com The link is in the description below. Thank you. Chanting Nam Myoho Renge Kyo is more than a spiritual practice. It's a powerful tool that can influence our minds, bodies, and lives in profound ways. This chant, taught by Nichiren Daishonin, encapsulates the essence of the Lotus Sutra and holds within it the potential to unlock the deepest, most inherent wisdom within us. But what if this ancient practice also had connections to modern scientific understanding? Can science explain why so many find peace, strength, and transformation through these simple yet profound words? Chanting Nam Myoho Renge Kyo is an act of harmonizing with the universe. In the Lotus Sutra, the concept of Myoho, or the mystic law, is described as the fundamental law that governs all life and phenomena. Nichiren Daishonin emphasized that by chanting Nam Myoho Renge Kyo, we align ourselves with this law, tapping into a limitless source of wisdom and compassion. But how does this alignment manifest in our lives, and can it be understood through the lens of modern science? One of the most intriguing areas of study is the impact of chanting on the human brain. Neuroscientists have found that repetitive vocalization, such as chanting, can induce changes in the brain's activity. When we chant Nam Myoho Renge Kyo, we engage in a practice that can bring our minds into a state of calm focus. This is similar to what is observed during mindfulness meditation, where brain scans show increased activity in regions associated with attention, self-regulation, and empathy. The rhythmic nature of chanting helps to synchronize the brain's neural oscillations, which can enhance cognitive function and emotional regulation. In fact, research has shown that chanting can reduce stress by lowering cortisol levels, the hormone responsible for the body's stress response. As we chant, the repetitive sounds and focused breathing can activate the parasympathetic nervous system, the part of the nervous system that promotes relaxation and healing. This is supported by studies showing that regular chanting can lead to lower blood pressure, improved heart rate variability, and a stronger immune system. Nichiren Daishonin's writings often emphasize the transformative power of chanting Nam Myoho Renge Kyo. He taught that this practice could help individuals overcome suffering and obstacles by tapping into their Buddha nature, the enlightened state that exists within every person. This idea of transformation is not just spiritual but can also be seen in how chanting influences our brains and bodies. For instance, studies on neuroplasticity, the brain's ability to reorganize itself by forming new neural connections, suggests that regular chanting can lead to positive changes in the brain's structure and function. This means that through consistent practice, we can essentially rewire our brains to be more resilient, compassionate, and focused. The concept of resonance is also key to understanding how chanting Nam Myoho Renge Kyo can create profound change. In physics, resonance occurs when an object vibrates at the same frequency as another, causing both to oscillate in harmony. When we chant, our vocal cords produce sound waves that resonate not only within our bodies but also in the environment around us. This resonance can be thought of as a metaphor for how chanting aligns us with the mystic law, creating a harmonious connection between our inner lives and the world. In the Lotus Sutra, it is said, the Lotus Sutra is the king of all sutras, the most difficult to believe and the most difficult to understand. Yet, Nichiren Daishonin made this profound teaching accessible to all by simplifying it into the practice of chanting Nam Myoho Renge Kyo. This practice serves as a bridge between the profound teachings of the Lotus Sutra and our everyday lives. It allows us to access the wisdom and compassion of the Buddha, even amidst the challenges and complexities of modern life. Modern psychology also offers insights into the benefits of chanting. The practice of chanting can be likened to positive affirmations, where individuals repeat empowering statements to themselves to build confidence and resilience. 
psychologists have found that positive affirmations can help reframe negative thought patterns, leading to improved mental health and well-being. Similarly, chanting Nam Myoho Renge Kyo can help shift our internal dialogue from one of doubt and fear to one of hope and determination. This shift is not just mental but can also influence our emotions and actions, leading to a more positive outlook on life. The social aspect of chanting in a group setting, known as Gongyo, can amplify these effects. Studies on social support and group dynamics show that engaging in a shared activity, especially one as powerful as chanting, can foster a sense of community and belonging. This collective energy can enhance the benefits of chanting, as individuals draw strength and encouragement from one another. Nichiren Daishonin emphasized the importance of unity among practitioners, teaching that chanting together could lead to even greater benefits than chanting alone. The Lotus Sutra also teaches the concept of 3,000 realms in a single moment of life, which means that our inner state of life determines the reality we experience. When we chant Nam Myoho Renge Kyo, we elevate our life condition, which in turn can transform our external circumstances. This idea is supported by the placebo effect, a well-documented phenomenon where belief in a treatment's efficacy can lead to real physiological and psychological improvements. Chanting Nam Myoho Renge Kyo with strong faith can similarly create a powerful placebo effect, where our belief in the practice's ability to transform our lives actually leads to tangible change. Another area where science intersects with chanting Nam Myoho Renge Kyo is the study of sound therapy. Sound therapy uses specific frequencies and rhythms to promote healing and well being. Chanting Nam Myoho Renge Kyo can be seen as a form of sound therapy, where the vibrations of the chant help to balance and harmonize the body's energy centers, or chakras. This is similar to how certain frequencies in music can evoke specific emotional responses, such as calmness or joy. The deep vibrations of chanting can help to release blockages in the body's energy flow, leading to a sense of balance and peace. Nichiren Daishonin's belief in the power of chanting is echoed in the concept of vibration and energy that permeates various scientific disciplines. Quantum physics, for example, suggests that everything in the universe is in a state of constant vibration, and that these vibrations can affect each other in subtle ways. Chanting Nam Myoho Renge Kyo could be seen as a way of tuning into these vibrations, harmonizing our personal energy with the larger, universal energy. This alignment can lead to a greater sense of purpose and connection, helping us to navigate the challenges of life with a calm and focused mind. But perhaps one of the most significant scientific insights into chanting Nam Myoho Renge Kyo is its ability to foster a sense of meaning and purpose. Psychologists have long understood that having a sense of purpose is crucial for mental health and well-being. When we chant, we are not just repeating words, we are engaging in a practice that connects us to something larger than ourselves. This connection can give us a sense of direction and motivation, helping us to persevere through difficult times and to pursue our goals with determination and hope. In the Lotus Sutra, it is written, This sutra is a treasure house of secrets. Chanting Nam Myoho Renge Kyo is like unlocking this treasure house, revealing the limitless potential that lies within each of us. Scientific studies on the effects of chanting provide a glimpse into the mechanisms by which this potential is realized, showing how the practice can influence our brains, bodies, and lives. But beyond the scientific explanations, there is a deeper, more profound aspect to chanting that science can only begin to touch upon. It is the experience of chanting the feeling of connection, the sense of peace, the awareness of our own Buddha nature that truly makes this practice transformative. The true power of chanting Nam Myoho Renge Kyo lies not in the scientific studies that support it, but in the personal experiences of those who practice it. As Nichiren Daishonin taught, if you want to free yourself from the sufferings of birth and death you have endured since time without beginning and to attain without fail unsurpassed enlightenment in this lifetime, you must perceive the mystic truth that is originally inherent in all living beings. Chanting Nam Myoho Renge Kyo is a way to perceive this mystic truth, to awaken to our own Buddha nature, and to live our lives with courage, wisdom, and compassion. As you continue your practice of chanting Nam Myoho Renge Kyo, remember that you are engaging in a process that has the power to transform not only your own life but also the world around you. Whether through the calming of your mind, the strengthening of your body, 
or the deepening of your compassion, chanting has the potential to bring about profound change. And while science can offer insights into how this process works, the true value of chanting lies in its ability to connect you to the mystic law, to the wisdom of the Buddha, and to the limitless potential that resides within your own life.